no problem. Just yeah. add some ice. You ready to do this? Let's go. All right, let's go. Up. Got the car checked. Everything's good. And our runner is ready. How are you feeling? Good. Yep. Ready to do this? Good. That particular tree. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So, how did the morning start? How'd you sleep? I slept great. Yeah. I only woke up three times to pee. I, that's pretty good for you. I don't think I woke up the house. No. You didn't wake me up. It was great. Which is all that really matters. When you that's all that matters. Wake you up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got to keep the crew chief rested. Yeah. And how was your nutrition this morning? I had a banana. I had a cold dry bagel and uh, a liter of... What do they call it? Uh, Perpetuum? Perpetuum. All right. So and that's some good calories to start off. I'm all fueled up. All right, that's good. And a cup of coffee. Outstanding. Black. Black coffee. And we made it here. Just in time. And we've got a beautiful sunrise here to start things off. We will be, Phil's going to be out here at the intersection. He's going to direct you through. You're going to come and you'll see me out at the turnaround. The way they've got the turnaround mark to have the course, it, you have to go around a little uh, cul-de-sac thing and I'll direct you through that. You go up to a turnaround sign. Then you will come all the way back here. Come back here, check in, and then uh, head on out and you'll leave the, leave the park at that point. Leave the park and turn right and uh, head all the way down till it dead ends, okay? We'll be waiting at 50th Street down there with you. With, uh, we'll be sitting there. Uh, Outlaws taking over the race this year. Uh, Timer guys had it before. 
I had to beg Patrick not to cancel this race uh, because, as you guys realize, it's a small event. So um, I was like, don't don't kill Honey Badger. Let us let us work on it. Tell your friends about it. Uh, we'd like to see this race, um, you know, get a little bit more numbers, make it a little more sustainable, where uh, where it can kind of function on its own a little bit. But uh, but uh, I think it's a neat race and worth uh, worth keeping around. So just tell your friends about it, and uh, we're happy that everybody's out here running. And, uh, you guys have a good day. Don't go out too fast. But, uh, overall, I think your uh, high temperature day is 89. Do you hear that? Temperature is 89. Don't go out too fast. I didn't hear that. Thursday, I think it was even next week. Okay, let's get some bottles filled. Okay. And let's get some nut butter on. We got some nut butter. We're gonna need some more gels. We need that straight container from the right side. Straight water pack. Yes, just water. Nice and super cold for you. All right. All right. Any snackies? Yeah, I'll take some snackies. Oh! Any, any preference? Yeah. You want salt? You want sweet? Uh, let's get some gels and some fruit snacks. And a granola bar. For granola, do you want chocolate or do you want nuts? Nuts. You want nuts? Nuts. <laughs> Give me that sweet, salty nut. Nut? Mile 13, how you doing, baby? Mm. It's so good. It's good. Yep. Okay, you need water. Ultrasaurus Rex is here to spectate. Okay, so we're at mile 30.5 as it turns out, according to Rex's watch, and we're not arguing with his watch right now. So, how, how are we feeling, Mr. Runner Man? Awesome, we're doing so great. We're yep. feeling strong. I feel like it's invincible a little bit. I feel a little bit like a tiger. And now it starts off summer. Just for, just for a leg. Just for a leg? Maybe two. Okay, well we got your sunscreen on. Just for my phone charges. Yeah. Where is your phone? In my best. So we're getting him some watermelon, we're getting him some snacks, he's getting his calories. We're putting an ice pack in the back of his vest, where the bladder would normally go to keep him cool. Kirby zoomed out here in her kick-ass car to get him some water on the course, and she's getting him a charger for his phone. That's a freaking hot car. I see that car, I'm like, I want to be whoever owns that car. Sometime. Right, exactly. There's Pequod. 
she's going out after him and she has a megaphone. This is going to be good. <laughs> if anything's going to motivate him to move faster. <laughs> so meanwhile, Ultrasaurus Rex has gotten some new refreshments because she brought some stuff here. So now he has some pickle vodka and he has something in his drink holder. So Ultrasaurus Rex is really living the life right now on the side of the road. Well, chips, sandwich, lots of water. <laughs> His balls are fine, no nut butter. <laughs> <laughs> this is genius. This megaphone is great. She's giving us instructions before he gets here. I love this so much. Okay, we made it to Love's. What mile is this? Like 43 point something? Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. So we made it to the truck stop. It's really rough. It's a difficult drive. It's really warm. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it was a tough drive. It was rough. It's very hot. To, yeah, it's, very it's hot. really, it's a hot drive. It's warm. it's warm, yeah. Yeah, it's really rough. It's zero of 10 recommend. I don't know if I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, right? Yeah, I don't think so. It's really, it's really tough. We're just this. gonna go home. Yeah, right? <laughs> Just quit right now. Yeah. Yeah. He's fine. Yeah. He's DND. DND drive. Did not drive. Did not finish. <laughs> yeah. But he's on his way here, and I think we're pretty happy to be here, but I think he's going to be even happier yeah. to make it. In good condition there. <laughs> you might wonder what crewing is like when you're waiting for your runner. I bet you wouldn't think that it would involve the T Rex reading over your shoulder. Is that what you thought it would be like, Ian? Not at all. No? <laughs> just left mile 60. Uh, we're waiting for him at mile 63. He's doing really well. Jamie and I have a lot of glow stuff on right now. Um, he's, he's getting a little tired. Um, 
He's not really interested in food right now. We're hoping that's going to shift for him. We're going to try to get some calories in him to help his energy level. Um, we're staying in the car right now just because the mosquitoes are pretty interesting out here. Uh, but we're glad that the sun is down. It's a lot cooler outside. It's a lot more comfortable for the runners. Um, so we're going to hang out here and wait for him and Gan. She's pacing him. Okay, you guys. Um, I really, we're a little, I guess I'm a little slap happy right now because I'm so excited about this. We're at mile whatever. Okay, it doesn't matter. Look what Jamie found. Okay, we were at the last aid station <laughs> at our spot and Rex was asking for the extra batteries for his headlamp and we couldn't locate them right away. And we were a little nervous <laughs> and freaking out. Okay, I have anxiety and I was freaking out. And we were looking for the medical for the other thing that we were going to get for him at this aid station. And we found the batteries in the medical kit. They were so happy. Oh my God. All right. What mile does your watch say, sweetie? 69.83. <laughs> and David is here to take over his pacer. Dan rocked it, of course. She, she only got up at like four in the morning. Then crewed all day, then paced him for how many miles? 